Maimuna, 34-year-old lady from Palghat, Kerala, could hardly walk two steps. She was confined to the be bed when she consulted us. She was found to have a huge cyst arising from the liver, piercing through the diaphragm onto the chest and invading the right lung. She was bedridden and we had a video consultation as she could not come to our OPD. It was proved to be a hydrated cyst, but such a large one connecting the chest and the liver is unheard of. She was then brought in for surgery. The risk was explained to them because there could be massive bleeding because this stuck to the chest wall, heart, diaphragm, liver, and it's like peeling a wallpaper off a wall, the bleeding can be horrendous. That was one. Second, this has toxic fluid inside the chest. The aim is try to remove the whole thing in total, but this was so huge that it could not be delivered as it was stuck all around. So we had to incise it and with our heart in the mouth, whether she would have an anaphylactic shock, that is when the fluid spills out, could get into the blood and she could collapse on table with all doctors, all lines, all medications available. However, fortunately, that could be tidied over. There was considerable bleeding as anticipated. 14 units of blood and blood products were administered. And that too, without a crash in BP, we could complete the operation over nine hours. And she was extubated. She did not have to go on ventilator. So this was an unusual case, idated cyst, per se is not uncommon in the world or in North India or in Kerala or in Tamil Nadu or Andhra Pradesh but very rare in Kerala and the important part was a huge cyst occupying both the abdomen as well as the chest piercing boring through the diaphragm 4.2 kilograms in weight over 30 to 18 20 centimeters in size that is the niche thing that we could Manage the size and the cyst being connected between the chest and the abdomen. And today, she is able to, today meaning eight, on the eighth day of surgery, she was climbing seven floors of the hospital, whereas she could hardly take two steps prior to that. The confidence given to us by the family was humongous. That, in fact, emboldened us to proceed with the surgery. God has been kind to us, to the family. And I thank the media because this word has to spread. There are many out there conditions which can be treated and cured. And we can give them a good productive life from being a cripple in bed.